Hello Fabs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yanla Tabwa and welcome to the House of Tabwa. So guys, I was supposed to take a mini break and for some reason my break ended up becoming long because I got double down with jury duty. Let me tell you, it was a mess. I had a jury duty for about a month and the process of it all was hectic. I was picked for one of the jurors and the process of picking was a fool. It's now done now. I no longer have to do that anymore. So I had to get back into creating my bridal collection. I'm gonna dive in deep for my next design into my archives. So previous designs that I've done, I'm basically going to be picking from that and just remodifying them and just in them to create the next bridal piece. So the one I'm going to be going to do right now is the bubble hem dress that I did in half scale. So this is the dress that I did. If you guys remember this dress, it was very cute in this print. So I'm going to take some elements from this design to recreate it in the next bridal piece. So before we get started, we're going to have a moment from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Clockmaker. And I want to give a special thank you to Clockmaker for sponsoring this video. Clockmaker is a three match puzzle game that has a touch of science fiction and puzzle adventure. Its colorful interface is easy to use and so fun that I find it addicting when I solve the match three puzzles to discover the compelling story and unravel the dark secrets of the city. It has been very addicting. What I love about this free game, it has 100,500 levels of new events each week. If I want to take a break from Magic Puzzle, I can partake in other events like grow magic plants, make cakes, play bingo, a little bit of vintage fashion, which is right up my alley, and many more. I've been playing the game during my down moments when I'm taking a break from hand sewing and I just need a quick escape. And let me tell you, I have been obsessed. If I don't have Wi-Fi for some reason or I can't connect to the internet, I still can play my games while I'm offline. So I don't want you to wait any longer. I got something for you. Click the link down in my description box or in the pinned comment section and I'm going to give you 10 crystals to get started with your clock maker adventure. Thank you once again for clock maker for sponsoring this video and let's get back to regular programming. Okay, so I was thinking about making a bubble peplum top and um, a pants, a two piece set. So here's what I was thinking, a lace bodice. So I'm thinking of doing a two-piece. Uh, it would be a top and bottom, uh, tapered pants. I'm gonna keep the pants very simple. I was thinking about maybe adding some lace details on the side here, but I'm not sure yet because I wanna interact and interchange with the next design that's gonna be here for the next video. So this is gonna be a peplum top, peplum bubble hem top with lace, um, uh, appliqued um, on top of a nude mesh but I'm gonna match it to my skin tone so we're gonna see how this goes so let's get started with the draping okay ladies and gents so I'm gonna start draping the front of this put my arm on here because I want the bodice to have like a cap shoulder that's already like doesn't have like a seam so I think this is, will be helpful for me to drape that when I'm draping 
I already prepped my muslin, so I'm gonna place it right here at the center front as always and start draping. Here's the bodice so far, look good. Um, this is what I wanted the shoulder to run into the cap sleeve. And this is what the front looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and decide how long I want the peplum to be. It's gonna be the underlayer skirt of the peplum. So let me go ahead and mark my waist. Let me get this, ease this in. So now I'm going to go ahead and just shorten this up because I don't want it to be too long because I don't want it to look like a tunic. Okay, so basically this is what it is. Okay, that's cute. And this is the under layer, that's the lining. So this is my base and the base got to be on point in order for me to lay the upper part of the peplum. So, whoops, let me put this back right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead now and just do the upper layer part so that way we can all see what it's looked like on the muslin. Okay guys, so this is what it looks like right now as a drape muslin. So what I want to do now is basically lay, oh, let me put this arm on here so you guys can see for sure like what it's supposed to look like. Isn't this cute? 
cute. This is what it looked like with the sleeve. So here will be all laced and I wanna apply the lace on the mesh bodice which is gonna look invisible on my skin. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put my bodice in the mess fabric. I sewed everything together, so this is what it looks like. Um, this is the back, which was gonna have a button down uh, back finish once I get there, but this is basically the gist of it all. So now I'm gonna go ahead and lay, lay my lace to create this front bodice and back bodice as well. So let me show you the lace layout so you guys can see. <laughs> So here's my lace layout. Um, this is the front, basically. This is what I got going on right now. I'm gonna have to cut out more lace motifs so I can fill in the gaps on the side here. And this is what I want the back to start looking like as well. So what I'm gonna do is take this and start placing it right here in the middle because I want it to be a center. So here we are. This is giving me a whole framed look around the bus area and leaving this open right here. I'm loving it already. So I'm gonna go ahead and what I'm gonna do is start gluing this down. So I'm gonna just take my glue tack and just tack certain spaces and places where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna go in and sew everything down so that way it can stay down because we're not gonna just go with just glue. That's not happening in the house of Tawa, you know? All right, let me see, let me look at the back real quick before I start gluing. I wanna see what this looks like here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Um, I thought that this was really good when I used it for the rhinestones in my half scale design. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I'll put a little bit here, not too much, and then just place it down there so that way it doesn't move. So that way everything can stay in place and then that's it, I'm gonna sew everything down. So I finally finished sewing everything by hand. It took me about five days to do this only. But as you can see, it's like a whole um, lace bodice and I created the design, so obviously it's gonna take more time. So now I'm getting ready to move on to do the peplum part of this top.
okay so this is the outer shell of the bodice I connected the outer layer to the waistline and then now on the inside all I have to do is just um, clean up the inside which I'm going to close all of this basically is the same method that I did when I did the muslin so now I'm just gonna close this opening because I pinned it along the waistline on the inside and then put my buttons on the back So here we are ladies and gents, and the, this top is finally complete, okay? Took me forever to finish this top. Here's the back with all the buttons down, and it's opening right here so that way you can wear it separate from the pants. So it's going to be the top portion, which is gorgeous, okay? So now I'm going to get ready to go and do the pants, which I'm going to be doing off camera. So you guys are not going to see all that. Y'all going to see the pants when it's done. So let me get started with the pants right now. Sir, but I go. I can always adjust that uh, moving forward. I'm not sold on the pants fully yet, but I wanted it to be solid. And here is the peplum look. Okay. So here is the top. As you can see, the lace detailing, all hand stitched. And I also want to go back to the open as well with the button detailing down the center back to give it a whole moody tattoo like and plus guys you know I have to give you a little bit of look with the hairstyle okay my little pearl look I think it looks so good so good So I think that this would be perfect for a micro mini wedding. Listen, I'm into the micro mini stuff. I think like 10 years, when I was in my uh, 20s, 20 to 25, you couldn't tell me nothing. I wanted to do a big wedding. I should have a 
Cinderella type wedding. But now as I'm much, much older now, I'm like, um, the people who I want to come to my wedding is the people who've been in my life through thick and thin. And the smaller the better. But that's just me. I'm into a whole micro wedding situation, the silver wedding, the courthouse wedding, and a little a party after party for reception. And you go home and I go celebrate at my honeymoon. So I was thinking like maybe like a garden type of florally type of scenery for this look. Because I am blue You know, don't you think? Honey. I'm obsessed. I feel like a little better right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.